What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. This is the first video of 2023, and we're going to start off with a bang. Today, we're checking out a solo that you can check out over Mississippi Half Step. So let's go. So like today's video title mentions, we're checking out this Mississippi half step solo that I composed myself. To me personally, Mississippi half step is one of the more complex songs to solo over in the Grateful Dead catalog. It's a real tongue twister in my opinion. And when I play it, I find myself overthinking sometimes on what I want to say in a solo section, which isn't really that good, you know? You shouldn't be overthinking, you should just be flowing. So this is a solo that I composed, like you saw in the beginning of the video, that to me has the emphasis of the song and the ideas while still maintaining a melodic, how do you say, substance, I don't know if that's the right word, and yet also covers the chord changes that if the solo was isolated, you'd be able to hear what chords happen beneath, if that makes sense. So with all that being said, Mississippi Half Step, before we tackle the solo, let's reiterate these chord changes. Right? First cup we have A minor, G sharp over A minor, G, D9, right? F major, D minor, B7, E7. Seven, G, and then if you go to the verse, it resolve to C, kind of like a two five one two five one. You know what I mean? Uh, if you continue to another chorus for a solo, it would be again F, A minor, D seven, G, A minor, right? some really killer changes, right? Now, you could see these and say very much a minor scale, right? Which isn't wrong. But I think the key and what separates maybe the boys from the men <laughs> are the certain notes that are being hit that outline the chord changes. Because there's some specific notes that when hit, 
really make the song happen. So you're just not wailing on a minor scale. So with that being said, let's move up the neck and see how we can approach this solo. Before we move to the solo, bonus points if you're able to play the solo up here, top three strings. Cool. So now let's check out the solo first at full speed, then a bit slower. Check it out. One more time, slower. Amazing. Let's dive real deep into it now. So for the first part of this solo, I'm approaching it strictly in a A minor pentatonic context, right? And I'm using kind of a diagonal pattern where I'm going up the scale, but down the neck. <laughs> so check this out. Right? One more time. Here comes the tongue twister, descending A minor. That's a fun one, hey? One more time slower. And that brings us perfectly into our F chord. Approaching D minor, D minor triad, here's our B, E7 or E major, right, and that would be the first go around. Pretty cool, hey? Let's check that out at a decent pace. Right? 
One more time. Check it out. Second go around, we'll stick to now some blues. F. There's our A minor. D7. of rounds us off back home let's take it now again from the second time around the solo section solo top to bottom Add a backing track. cool solo. That's your Mississippi half step solo. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video. Kind of like a um, solo analysis over this Mississippi half step progression, which again, I believe is one of the more complex solos in the Grateful Dead catalog. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>